Hey there, after my trip to Xi'an, I'm boarding the overnight train to head back to my hometown of Nanjing. While I love to travel and leaving home always brings a sense of adventure and independence, it can also feel like a roller coaster sometimes. Lately, I've been craving some comfort and familiarity, and I'm looking forward to seeing my family and spending some time back at home. So today I'm headed to the Muslim neighborhood in Nanjing. My uncle is actually Muslim. He was going to show me the best halal restaurant in his neighborhood. So I'm meeting him at the restaurant. Is Mr. Lee's halal food. We are here to eat their most famous dish called beef pot sticker. It's a dish that is very local to Nanjing. Um, but the line is very, very long. So now we are finally inside. My uncle actually already ordered for us. Now we're trying to find a seat. So when you come here, you have to share tables with everyone. <laughs> First, we have some beef wonton soup here and also beef soup dumplings. I actually haven't had these before. Typically, I had these dishes, but they are all uh, pork based. This restaurant is halal, so everything is beef. So, let's see what they taste like. Mixing some hot sauce. It's required for long tail soup. The soup base is so good. This is a dumpling. Very hot. <laughs> on this thing with photo of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna try the beef soup dumpling. Very big. Oh no, my soup has all escaped. For soup dumpling, you're supposed to bite a little bit, drink all the soup, and then eat the dumpling. Dip mine some vinegar. The beef is very juicy, and very tender. Uh, I love that the skin of the dumpling is so thin, and the soup is very tasty as well. <laughs> so my uncle said I need to eat it like this. Now it's soaked in vinegar. So my uncle was telling me that in this neighborhood there are a lot of Muslims and so that's why there are a lot of popular halal restaurants. My uncle is actually also Muslim, he's part of the Hui ethnicity. That's why he always know the best halal restaurant to go to in Nanjing. <laughs> just got our pot stickers. We ordered so much. I'm excited because it's what this place is most famous for. Alright, let's try these pot stickers. 
<laughs> so they are um, pan fried on one side. Mm. So juicy, look. Mm, the juice is good. So these hot stickers are filled with beef. It's ground beef, tender, juicy. A little bit on the sweeter side, um, which is typical for food in this region. I'm gonna dip it in some vinegar. Mm. I've had these a couple times for breakfast already since I was in Nanjing but I think these are the best I've had since I've been here because the skin is very thin but very crispy and the meat inside is super flavorful just finished eating but the line is still so long the good thing is that the line is long but it goes pretty fast <laughs> can't really see the end yet let's see after lunch I said goodbye to my aunt and uncle and went for a walk around Sunshine Street where many Muslim communities reside a halal restaurant that is very popular in Nanjing. Um, so halal in Chinese is Qingzhen, which is set on there. Also on top of the restaurant, it also has Qingzhen. You'll find numerous popular halal restaurants and mosques. I made my way to Jingjue Mosque. Jingjue Mosque stands as one of the largest and oldest mosques in Nanjing, dating back to the Ming Dynasty. The history of Muslims in Nanjing can be traced back to the Tang and Song dynasties, when Arab and Persian traders settled along the Maritime Silk Road. This is only for people who are practicing to be here. So this sign says do not enter if you're a tourist. I'm guessing this is probably where the prayer happens. There's a chart that talks about prayer time every day. So it's five times a day. It's so interesting because this part looks very traditionally Chinese. And then once you turn over here, you have um, what most people think as a mosque with the dome top. Bye.